Hi there, and welcome to another video on the Bite Size channel. Today, I'll be giving you an introduction to the Points Field 3D Op. So I'd like you to just pause the video and put these two ops into your patch. Great, let's get started. So I'm gonna create a matcap material new. I'm then gonna plug this into a mesh instancer. Let's just move this up for a minute. And the geometry input, I'm gonna plug in a cube. And then here, I'm going to add a trigger once up because we only need to send this once into the mesh instancer. So let's move this up. So I'm gonna to go to the positions array, drag out, I'm gonna grab the points field 3D up. Now, as you can see, we don't have anything. I have to put some parameters in. So let's put it on two by two by two. And to all appearances, it looks like we've just got a cube. So let's get a cube here and put the size on say 0 0.9. And as you can see, we've now got two by two by two cubes. So if I now go here, I can turn this up and we can create more points in a 3D field. It's a really handy op to just either generate a grid. So we could say 10 by one by 10. And it's like we've got a 2D grid, but we've now got 3D positions. Um, and this is really handy just to generate um, these uh, points really quickly. If we click center and we turn that off, as you can see, we now have this origin point, which is here in the corner. If we click center, then the origin point is in the center of the array. So if we use the multiplier here, we can kind of like increase the space between everything. So let's do this. So as you can see, we can now go here and increase the gap between all of the shapes. So this was an introduction to the points field 3D up. I hope this video has been educational and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them under the video or to post them on the forums. Thanks for your time. Bye.